Hey guys, welcome back. Today we are going to go over drawing points. Um, if you go up here to the create tab, these are all the different types of geometry that you can create in SurfCam. Okay, now for, for the 2D geometry section, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go in order and and skip over the ones that have to do with 3D geometry. That'll be in section 3. Alright, so the first one we come to here is point. Alright, so if we click point, these are the different ways that you can create a point in SurfCam. Now, in the previous tutorial, I, I went over uh, sketch mode and, and how sketch works. So we're going to skip that one and come on over here to point. Alright, so we select point. Now, I, I don't really know why they put this uh, this tab in here because you, you're basically creating a point on top of a point you see I've changed my color to black so that so that we can see them uh, the original four points here were white so I've, all I did was created a point on top of a point um, doesn't it's not very useful but anyway so Moving on to the next one, I've set up some layers here. Okay, if we go back up to create, the next one is endpoint. Now, uh, endpoint is is exactly uh, what it sounds like. To create a point at the endpoint of a line. What you want to do is get close to the end that you want the point to be at, and just click, and then it creates a, a point at the end point. Okay. Now, if you have a corner with a radius on it, and you try to uh, put a point at the end point, it's going to put it at the end point of the line. Okay, not the intersection point, which would be right up here. So just be aware of that when you're creating points. So you can, that's how uh, endpoint works. All right, now center. Go to our center layer. Okay. So if we click center, what center does uh, is it puts a point in the center of a circle, uh, the center of an arc or the midpoint of a line. Alright, so if you want a point in the center of a circle, you just click the circle, and there's your point. In the center of an arc, if you want it in the center of a line, you can click anywhere on the line, it doesn't matter, and it's going to put it in the middle. Alright, so these are pretty straightforward. Okay, moving on, the next one is midpoint. Okay, so if we create a point, uh, you can create a point in the midpoint of a line. You can, and again, just can click just anywhere, and it's going to put it in the middle, or the midpoint of an arc. Okay, intersect. Okay, um, now the, the intersection point obviously is where is where two lines meet. Okay, so if you click on intersect, the surf cam is telling us to select the first element to intersect. So if I wanted to put a point right here, I'm going to select this line and that line. And then it puts it at the intersection point. Okay, now uh, if you wanted a point at the the uh, end point, the theoretical intersection point, it'll do that as well. You just select this element, that element, and even though there's a fillet right here, it still puts it where the intersection point would be. Okay? So, now this is what I wanted to show you. I, I moved uh, this line up in Z, so it, it doesn't matter if if the line is not on the same plane. 
okay it will still create a point see when I selected these two even though this lines up here it still put it at the intersection point okay so I'll show you that again you see how the this line is is farther up it's not on the same plane as our our box here but I can still select this element and that element and it, a little note pops up but it still puts it at the intersection point so the elements don't actually have to to intersect they can be on different planes and the the uh, intersection point is projected based on the current C view that that you're using okay uh, the way surfcam does it is it, it finds the location from the first element that that is selected okay now this works with uh, non surface elements okay so the next one is relative alright now what relative does create point click on relative then it's going to give you this box here now relative will uh, allow you to create a point relative to another known point okay in other words if I put two inches two inches and and two inches and in Z click OK and it's asking select the first element to intersect and I'm just gonna use zero 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 as my intersection point so if I click this element and that element then it creates a point two inches over, two inches up, and two inches up in Z. That's the location relative to the intersection point that I selected here. So as long as you have a, a known location, then you can um, tell it where, where you want it to go by putting your numbers in here. Okay, now 99% of the time you're going to use the Cartesian coordinate system. Um, a polar coordinate system is is a little different, and I'm not going to cover that just yet. Uh, I'll get into that at a, a later on a later tutorial. Okay, but so if I put um, negative two, negative two, and negative two, click OK. Intersection point of that and that, and then it goes down here and that's negative instead of positive in Z alright so that is relative now moving on to keyboard if I click keyboard it's gonna bring up this box and basically what keyboard is is you're defining an exact location um, based on the values that you put in Okay, so if you wanted it, say a quarter inch uh, positive in X, quarter inch positive in Y, and at Z zero, you just type those in, click OK, and it creates that point for you. Okay, so this this is pretty straightforward, pretty simple. And last but not least, we have quadrant. Okay create point you click quadrant now what a quadrant is every circle has four quadrants okay starting at the three o'clock position starting right here now the uh, quadrants are 90 degrees apart so starting here there there and there those are uh, the four quadrants all right so if I click quadrant, Surfcam's telling telling me uh, panning, use the arrow keys or hold down the mouse button. That's just telling me if you want to pan around. Um, okay, moving on. So if I select this, uh, you you don't have to be right on the quadrant. If you get close to it, it's going to go to the the closest one. So there and there. Okay, so those are your four quadrants. And then you have an undo button if you 
if you decide you didn't want that point there. But you only get one chance with undo. That's something that I was hoping they would update with with this uh, new release, but they didn't. So, and then of course cancel. So that is it for creating points. Pretty simple. Um, in the next tutorial, I'm going to skip uh, the points tab because that that has to do with 3D geometry. That'll be in the next section. So the next tutorial, we're going to go over how to create lines. These are the different um, methods to, for creating a line. Alright, so stay tuned in for that, and I will talk to you soon.